So I just wanted to film a very quick clip. It's Thursday today and I wanted to show you guys this amazing package that I got. So this is a POC a Creator Business Spotlight. Basically, I received a lovely package from Emily in California and she runs a small jewelry business called Stella and Luna. And I'll leave the handle and the website and such up on the screen but she does absolutely amazing work with her products because 100% of the profits go to domestic violence centers in Los Angeles, which I think is absolutely incredible. And she sent me some pieces from her new fall collection. So, so amazing. So she said, thank you for shopping small and supporting my nonprofit. Your purchase will be supporting domestic violence centers in Los Angeles. And that is a big deal. And then she said that your followers can use code Christine for 15% off. So I'll put that code up on the screen right now. Just remember, this is a nonprofit that donates all the profits to domestic violence centers. Use a code if you want to or if not. Either way, your money will be going towards a great cause. This is the cutest packaging. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So I got a little sticker. Stella and Luna. And look at these pieces are you kidding me like what oh my gosh they look so beautiful do you want to try these earrings excited to try out the other pieces definitely check out her website her instagram you guys get the code christine for 15 percent off if you order anything and again an amazing nonprofit. funds go towards a great cause like please please check it out i'm so excited hello guys it is saturday september 12th 11 ish a.m i'm going to be heading to boston common to meet up with some friends who you'll see probably soon um but i just wanted to show you guys my outfit unfortunately i don't technically have any outfit details because most of them are hand-me-downs but i will show you anyways so here we have my outfit um my bag is from my friend when she went on vacation she bought a bag for me my top and my pants are both from my mom so those are hand-me-downs but the earrings right here and the necklace are both from stella and luna which i showed you i think in the clip before this watch is daniel wellington um and yeah It's so nice oh, out. Thank God. Oh my God. Is this a Mark? I'm no. Mark Two. Mark this is the only one. Yeah. G7 is Mark Two. Yes, that is the camera. I like just think I'm in frame ever, and then I can like hook up like put up on all my photos just for like.
Hi. Oh <laughs> this is Annabelle. <laughs> I've been stressing about this for two weeks and I think I'm finally gonna drop a class. It seems like a really cool class, but it's just, I don't think it's for me this semester. Right? You did it. I'm proud of you. I didn't do it yet. I have it ready. Throw that crimson cart. <laughs> that crimson cart. I'm dropping. Oh my god, I just pressed finish dropping. Success! The class has been removed from your schedule. Yay! Yay! There she is. Oh wait, this like looking at this actually makes me a lot happier. Like my schedule. That's good. That means you made the right decision. Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Annabelle with her like 20 PSAC classes. Aww. <laughs> You're doing great. No. <laughs> so guys. Um, it is Monday, September 14th. As you just saw, I dropped a class. Woo! I honestly really, really think any other semester, I would have loved, 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 loved to take this class. But I just think it just didn't feel like it would have made me as happy as it would have under different circumstances. I am definitely trying to make a point of Choosing classes, you know, if I have the luxury of choice with classes that aren't like required for pre-med or neuro, I want to make a point of picking classes that will have coursework and readings that I can actually get something out of. Not that I wouldn't have with this class, but I myself wouldn't have been able to engage with it as much as I would have liked to. So I think that's really important to consider, not just taking it for the sake of taking it, but feeling like you can get something out of it. So I dropped the course. I feel really good, honestly. Um, still some lingering like doubts slash regret, but that's just who I am, it's fine. So still kind of letting that sink in. It's currently like 11.30 a.m. I'm probably not gonna show you a lot about what I'm doing today um, just because you didn't see it on my first day vlog because that was a Monday schedule and today's actually a Monday. But um, maybe I'll just show you a few other things besides classes I'm doing today. I'm excited to go on with the rest of my day. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. For any of my California West Coast friends, uh, viewers, I really hope you guys are staying safe, um, taking care of your health as much as you can. It must be really scary with all the wildfires, so please know I am thinking of you. I'm hoping that things get better very soon. So stay safe, and I'll see you guys in my next clip, whatever that may be. I am all in. I want some kombucha. Kombucha. 
snack time. Snack time. How do you feel about oatmeal raisins? I actually really like it. I love oatmeal raisins. Like, oh, I wish we had some keto. Oh my god, dried mango. We cannot get dried mango. We can get dried like all over. I, I will just like consume all the dried mango. Because like I don't like. Oh, I